What's going on, everybody? Eat out here. Today, another review of a game that many of us know. A lot of us know. A lot of us like this game. I had it crossed over from PS3 to PS4. And obviously, I'm talking about The Last of Us Remastered. Um, you know, it says over 200, what is that? 200 Game of the Year awards. Let me just follow along. 200 Game of the Year awards. And I got a little thing. You know, uh, I think I got also with this. Yeah, yeah, I think I, well, it's not in here, but the, le uh, what is it? The Left Behind DLC I got. I still have not played that. I don't know why. Uh, I heard it's, uh, pretty good, not like amazing, but uh, it's still pretty good. So I'm going to talk about this game, obviously, the single player, what I liked about it, I guess, whatever I don't like about this game also, I don't, I, it's so tough to decide. Um, so, what else can I, what first can I say about this game? Okay, uh, graphics. The graphics of this game, it, for when it was on PS3, I really felt like that was like as good as it can get on PS3. I mean, this game looks fucking fantastic. When I got this game, not even this one, when I got the PS3 version, um, I didn't know anything about this game. I got it when it first came out, and I'm like, what's that Last of Us game? I'm just like, fuck it. Buy it. So I bought it, and uh, I was just like, this sh game should be interesting, and I played it right out of the gate, and it took for, I think it took quite a while for it to load, I'm just like, wow, it is this game, and then it finally kicked in, and it's like the window or whatever in the menu, I'm just like, okay, this game looks pretty good, you know, even though a game, I don't judge a game by its graphics, but rather the gameplay and the story and everything, which I think most people should uh, do, so... I saw this game, I got it, put it in, put it in, sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, played it, the intro, that intro, it, it didn't even say The Last of Us yet, the whole intro before The Last of Us where the daughter dies and all that, oh, I should say, I'm going to be spoiling this whole game, so don't watch this if you haven't played yet, but yeah, um, the one our daughter dies. I thought, uh, I thought, uh, she was, I thought Ellie was the daughter at first. Or, uh, she was, like, the daughter or something. I'm like, oh, that must be his daughter or something. But no, I was completely fucking wrong. She dies. I'm like, oh. Nice. So, you know, that was pretty good to have them both meet up like that. And basically, both, uh, these two both basically hate each other in the beginning. Um, you know, there's really, literally nothing that these two sort of... I guess they did have things in common, but they didn't have the same sort of personality towards one another. Like, you got Ellie who didn't like Joel, and Joel didn't like her. You know, he just thought of her as, like, uh, basically like a mission that they had to go on. So, that's how it was. And if you see me keep looking over there, motherfucking RoboCop is on. Not the stupid new one. The old, cool one. But, whatever. Enough about RoboCop. Uh, but back to this. The story. Uh, I have never played a better story. The only stories that I really compete with this one is uh, Arkham City. Uh, I like Borderlands 2 story competes with this, you know. Uh, not many, you know, games, storylines really came with this one, you know. I guess it's sort of like, you know, here's zombies, someone has a cure, yada, yada. But how they play off this story is um, a lot better than just saying, here's zombies and, uh, you know, whatever like that. And so I really felt like they did the story pretty well. Um, I liked, I just liked the whole story. I mean... Nothing about the story really bothered me. I don't, I don't think anything... I don't think there's a single thing I can say about the story that I can be like, yeah, I didn't like the story. There's no way. I mean, it had so many 
great parts in it. You know, when, uh, and we had Sam, I think it was Sam and his brother, I don't remember their names exactly, I think it was Sam and his brother, and, like, the brother, younger brother gets infected or whatever, and the older brother shoots himself, and boom, that ends it, and goes into the next season, I was like, oh, that just happened, man, it was, it was crazy, and then, like, uh, what was the other part, like, the ending, where he just like pops the the black woman or whatever. It's just like he just did that, and I, you know, I, I never. I think I played that game quite a while. You know, like I didn't stop playing that game at all. I mean, it, it's it was addicting. The only problem was, well, actually, I didn't have a problem with the game length. It was like depending on what you did, if you got the pennants. Pendulance? Penance? Was a penance or something like that? You could get those go around doing that. Um, and you got the comic book things. I'm still working on that, though. Uh, I'm a big person in trophies. I have, like, almost 18,800, something like that. Uh, but uh, if you want easy trophies, uh, oh, how do I explain it? it? Sort of easy trophy. Do your research on how to find the pen, uh, penance. Where they're all in the comic book things. Um, and you'll do fine. Uh, and the story is just well done. I mean, I like the whole... Most of the game, you're not going to be uh, shooting around on people, you know. Yeah, you will be, but you're not supposed to be using that ammo, like, all the time. Um, you know, it's just how it is, you know. You know, I think I had a... a Shot a couple shives. I ran out a bunch. I'm like, oh, here we go, and lost my shit. And I lost them. I lost a lot of shives. As in lost, I mean, I didn't collect parts for shit. Um, so story. If we were, if I was judging on story, this game would get a ten out of ten. It, you know, that story is amazing. Now multiplayer. Um, how do I don't explain for this game? For this game, the multiplayer is good. For this game, uh, if that multiplayer setting was like, uh, like if I know Call of Duty is a bad example, but Call of Duty is you know going fast, doing this, doing that. At that house, Call of Duty was set up, people wouldn't like it. But this, since if you play the the solo campaign in this, you would realize, oh, that means the multiplayer should be somewhat similar game style to uh, the story and it was I mean you go around building stuff and all that uh, I think I was mediocre on it. you know I had my destiny one I showed I was good at that I was just like who's over there who's over there you know this one and this one I was I was like yeah I'm gonna construct this little bomb and you know yeah I'll take this throw right back at me then here comes the uh, what are they called? Tin can bombs. That's what I'll just call it for now. I can't think of the name. I'll just call them tin can bombs. And, uh, I think I threw a bunch of those back at me. Uh, that was kind of embarrassing. But, you know, a lot of people did, uh, do pretty well at this, uh, multiplayer. Um, you know, I, I, I like the, how they set it up. Um, I don't know though. I wasn't really uh, a big fan of the multiplayer. It's a fun multiplayer, but it's not my style of multiplayer. You know, I'm always used to like the Battlefield 4 sort of stuff and all that. So, you know, if you want to get this game uh, solely for its campaign, go ahead. But if you're like, oh, I want to play a lot of uh, a lot of multiplayer, then I suppose. Just check it out. I mean, this isn't like the multiplayer people are expecting, like a Halo or a Call of Duty or a Battlefield or, you know, any of that. It's its own little sort of setup for multiplayer. So, you know, overall though, uh, I gave this game like a nine and a half, ten. I mean, this game on PS3 was flawless. This game on here, remastered, is flawless. There's nothing bad about this game. I don't know what you could find that's horrible about this. Uh, because I didn't. I, I honestly can't say anything about it. 
you know, other than multiplayer, but it's not even that bad. I mean, nothing about this game is bad. At all. At all. I mean, I played... I think it took me, uh... Like, 8 to 10 hours to beat this game, which, uh... Sucked, because I want this game to last, like, you know, the one I talked about, Alien Isolation, 15 hours. Uh, maybe this game, maybe, hopefully, maybe, like, 11 or 12 hours would have been good. I mean, there's so many good parts in this game. You got... All the different seasons. Winter, winter was a tough one because you get to play as Ellie, and I was like struggling because you had to use like sneak. And I'm just like, fuck it, let's just uh, run, and that's what I did. I just hauled ass all the time. You know, I was just like, go back this way. There we go, and I, I lost sight of like where all the guys were. So, um, so, you know, what other good parts are there? Um, I don't know. The ending's awesome. The sand part's awesome. Uh, when you when you finally get to the brother's place, I guess is pretty cool. I mean, how they had their whole setup. I forget, what was it in Utah? Utah, maybe. I don't remember. I really don't have any idea. But wherever it was, uh, that was a pretty cool place to see, and it gets overtaken, and then all that. And there's really good parts. It's like not just the graphics, but uh, the characters are pretty badass. I mean, who doesn't like Joel? Who doesn't like Ellie? I mean, it's just straight up awesome. Uh, or what's the other chick's name? Trish. I think it was Trish who ends up dying. I mean, a lot of moments you're not gonna expect like that happening, like her dying. I was like, just like, oh, this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. And I was wrong. I was wrong the whole time. I thought. Uh, you know, Joel would give her up in the end, but he didn't. And then, my favorite part, still, uh, the game's awesome in everything, in every single part. My favorite part is when you finally make it to the emergency room to get her. And you got the, like, I think it's like three doctors that are about to perform the surgery, and they're like, Please, don't hurt me, I'm just a little woman. And I'm like, I pull out the Diablo, I'm just like, Bitch, 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 you know light all three of them up so overall uh, this game nine and a half ten either way this game is just straight up phenomenal probably one of the best stories I've ever played second obviously Arkham City that, that I love that fucking game can't wait for Arkham Asylum but this for this day this game nine and a half ten out of ten so hopefully if you're out there watching this uh, pick up the game. If you have not played this game, if you have not ever played this damn game, I've told many people to play this game. They're like, why would I play that game? Why? I'm like, fucking play it. The game's fucking awesome. So, uh, where am I at? Okay, well, I'm going to have to wrap it up. So, that's going to do it to, uh, today, everybody. Uh, that's just what it is. I got to check Robocop one last time. He just got lit up. He's just about to become RoboCop. Wow, this is remarkable. Amazing. But, uh, I don't even know why I have RoboCop on. It's just random ass channels I'm on. Like, the stupidest stuff. But, yeah, 10 out of 10. I'll just say it's a 10 out of 10. I'll just flat out say it. 10 out of 10. That's going to wrap it up for me, everybody. I'm E-Dog. Thanks for watching, dogs and doggas. Keep it classy out there.